All right, uh, I wanted to give a quick update uh, as to some of the stuff I've done uh, since my last video, which was like a day ago, two days ago. Uh, anyways, um, at the end of the last video, I said there was room for improvement in that uh, the walls were not uh, blocking the ray casts of the uh, pointer for the, what's it called, the Vive Teleport uh, asset mod, whatever. Um, and so now I changed that. So these are now um, default. Uh, the floors still ignore raycast. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, the cheating blocks underneath the fancy textures uh, have a nice green sheen to them. Uh, that is because I've greatly increased the rate of my uh, building uh, by using a very helpful asset which you'll kind of realize that uh, I've only been doing Unity for a little while uh, because you probably already know about this. Uh, it's the Pro Builder Basic mod. Um, and one of the great things about this is you can make um, primitive shapes, such as these handy cubes here, uh, very easily. Uh, but then you can also say Set Collider. And Set Collider is basically the perfect, um, the perfect types of colliders for these sort of cheaty uh, teleport surfaces that you can put underneath the, uh, you know, ignore raycast layer uh, surfaces like this one. Um, so it's great. You don't need to make them visible or invisible. They just automatically uh, become invisible when you start playing. Uh, it's great. Uh, also, uh, I did a little exploring uh, as far as the multi-level abilities of the Vive Teleporter. Uh, you'll see I have some areas up here and I have a, a death pit down here. Um, also, fooling around with some particles and yeah. Check it out. All right, <clears throat> I'm away from the camera and putting on my goggles and picking up my control sticks, whatever these things are called. All right, I just accidentally teleported down from that shelf, but you can see um, still nice little handy dandy circle pops up uh, and the nav mesh is very nice and uniform. And we can hop up onto these pillars here. If we want, we can get back up onto our platform. And uh, let's jump down. And let's go into the death pit. You have to be careful about this death pit because the Vive Teleport mod uh, only allows you to um, aim upwards, I believe, at a 45 degree angle. So it's kind of difficult to get out of here. Uh, you'll also notice that there's no uh, texture on the floor here. That's something you should also be careful about. This uh, dungeon asset I'm using is actually for cell phone games. So it's very low polygon uh, and also they've only uh, put meshes on the things that need to be actually rendered. So this is supposed to be viewed from the top down, not the bottom up. Uh, you can see we have our nice fog effect here and a nice beam of sunlight coming in. So notice you can see through that. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy about this. Um, another big thing is, I don't know if Unity is smart enough to merge um, triangles for things like these uh, cheaty uh, primitive shapes. So I've been really careful to replace my, um, what is it, just planes here, which have you know tons of triangles on them uh, with what are they called? Quads, uh, which you know only have I think two triangles on them. So this is just one massive quad here. Um, but I don't know enough about the engine uh, to know if it's smart enough to merge uh, the polygons on a plane uh, or not. Uh, I guess my next step will be to probably enclose this somehow, so you're not staring off into space. Um, and probably add some physics, uh, like these boxes and barrels would be fun to interact with. Uh, maybe import a bow and arrow mod. But yeah, so I just wanted to give an update to the wonderful uh, asset that is the Vive Teleporter mod. All right, taking off my goggles. All right, thank you for watching.